So we start with half a cup. The expected outcome is about two cups, depending okay. on temperatures. So if we, is that always the case? That is always the case on temperature. 41 degrees is usually going to produce the right amount, but it's just going to be a little bit warmer or colder, depending. What about in terms of how much it's yielding? Is it always, if we start with a half or half a cup, are we always going to yield four times more? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. So, okay, so that's what I was thinking, that maybe that is what we graph. Maybe we say, no matter how much we start with, mm -hmm. that we're always going to produce four times more in terms of how much we get. Yeah. Walk me through how this thing works. Okay, so I'll release the vacuum in a minute. Okay. So all the air is out. Most. It doesn't get 100 percent better. I'll start with nitrous. Okay. And this does get cold. And make sure you're not this covering this because it's your emergency pressure release. So you just put in one tube of nitrous. Yeah. And then I'll just want to bring it to temperature. How do you do that? Like liquid nitrogen, because or else it won't react with the calcium. How much calcium did you put in measurement wise? Um, just a sprinkle. And you can eyeball it. Okay. Oh, it's popping. It's already popping. Okay, so that's one of each? Yeah. And then I can test the consistency right now. It'll probably be decent. It's cold. Negative 365 degrees. <laughs> I, love I, I thought they were labeled, but they're very cold. Yeah, they are. They both are going to be. And they're both the same thing. Right? Okay, so that's a little thin. So we would add one more. A second of what? A second of nitrogen. You only add one with the nitrogen to bring it to temperature. Okay. And these also get cold. I know why. No, the tape ones are liquid nitrogen. And then this is? Nitrous oxide. Oh, okay. And then I have carbon dioxide. I want to mix that or something. starting of a half cup to two, you know, and right. you're doing four mm -hmm. times. Obviously the air, I mean liquid nitrogen and calcium are minor components, but the air is what's getting that to multiply to four times. Yeah, what okay. If we know that the ratio of what we start with to what we end with is one to four, uh -huh. right? That's yeah. true. We have, what if you start with like a balloon? Oh, yeah. about a balloon that's say this a certain size mm -hmm. that's holding like a half a cup of volume uh -huh. and you're going to expand it to be two cups worth of volume. Yeah. I mean it's a similar obviously the air pressure and the temperature are different, but yeah. is it a similar would it be a similar equation? I would think so, wouldn't it? I yeah. mean it's like it's, like a balloon. it's, it's the same theory. thing happening. Yeah. If we would if we could test how much we actually get because based off of the cartridges. And if I want, I can make it stiffer, so then it for it stay. It's a multiplying one. So if we if we okay, if the cartridges were X, yeah, and we kept the half cup the same, okay, where our starting point is the same, then we change the cartridges. That's going to affect how much we're going to get. Yeah. But there is a tipping point, you said, right? There is a tipping point of four cartridges. So. What happens at four cartridges? 
it gets over aerated and it turns almost back into a liquid. Instead oh, of being okay. green, it turns into a foam. Foam, like a little light foam. Right, okay. Because so they're it's over aerated. Okay. Can you can you draw what you think the graph would look like based on the cartridges? So if we have one cartridge, two cartridges, three cartridges, four cartridges, five cartridges, okay. what do you think is going to happen in terms of And then what would happen at four? Four would just go back to one half. So this and five is not possible because of pressure. So it would go well, it would here up, mm -hmm. but then it would crash back down. Yeah, it's like a slope. Okay. So it's not a consistent. If we're looking at it this way, where the cartridges are the x and the total yielded is the y, mm -hmm. then it's, it's not, not consistent. A okay. So we can't. It's impossible to graph. It's not impossible to graph, it's just not the same thing we've been graphing. Okay, so this is a slope? <laughs> slope is okay. any line, right? The slope is looking at the relationship between any two points. Okay. It can look like this, it can look like that. Um, but I think if, if we think about those two as our, our x and y, mm -hmm. It's not. It's not going to be a line. It's not. A line. No, because the four. Because of the four. Point. Because of the tipping point. Say that again. So have a variable be the quantity. Okay. The starting quantity. Mm -hmm. And with your two cartridges yeah. going to three and four, what's your volume? So it's two cartridges, not if it's at the desired temperature, because it took him three to get the desired consistency because it wasn't cold enough. So one cartridge was kind of like a movable. Yeah. Right, Max? The liquid nitrogen, there's a range of how cold it can be for it to work, and I put it in the range. Okay. So but, in, in theory, it could start with two and be this. Yeah, it can start with two, yes. If okay. that creams 32 degrees. Which so is will pressure. two always double the volume? Two? No. What did you say? Um, two. It's one to four ratio. Okay. So that we can, that's, that's the constant. Okay, so if we start with a half, okay. right, Yeah. we yield what? Yield one. Oh, four. Two and a half. Wait, two. <laughs> Which one? Two. Yeah, right? So if we, that, mm -hmm. that will do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. This, our yielded, how much we're going to get is our y. Okay. How do we get, if our starting point is x, if our half, okay. let's say just x. Okay. Starting point is x. Mm -hmm. How do we get to y? What's the, what's the equation? x plus 2. Cartridges? Not the cartridges. The oh. cartridges stay constant. Okay. So if we're starting at a half a cup, what happened to get us to 2 cups? We added the cartridges, but that has to sit constant. Okay. Let's suppose you start with one cup. One cup, okay. How much are you going to end up with? Four cups. Okay. If you start with two cups, okay. how much do you get? Six cups. Four. You Wait. start with two cups? Two times four. Right. Two times four, which is? Eight. Right. So if you start with x cups, you're going to get y equals? How did we get to y? y times 2. x times 2x. We only double it? Oh, x, 4x. Yeah. <laughs> that will do it. Okay. That will give us the line. So, but with the constant that we're always using two cartridges. Yes, yeah, that is correct. That's it's true. Right That'll do it. Okay. That we could graph in a line. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>